everyone welcome back to my channel it's trish if you guys are new welcome to my channel and do not forget to hit that subscribe button and if not welcome back to my channel so i wanted to do a collective haul video because um in december and january i was just you know i was doing a little bit of makeup shopping here and there so i wanted to share with you guys the products that i got so without further ado we're just going to get into that um yes the first two things i'm going to start off with will be you know the jade cats glitter and the nyx glitter primer um the jade cats glitter they do not have names on them but i think i peeled them off when i first got them the first one is the first one this is what the first one looked like it's like a bronzy gold color the second one is more of an orange color but it has like specks of like specks of like gold and green in it and it's like really pretty and the second one i got is like a silvery bronze color yeah and like i did mention i did pick up the mixed glitter primer i have been getting into a lot of glitters lately so you know i wanted to try the breaks about mixed glitter primer so i had to get that and then so the next things i got was some isme lip glosses and two of the ruby kisses liquid matte liquid lipsticks and for the isme glitters this is what they look like they're all look they're all nude shades but they're like there's differences between all of them so this one is Britney. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a nude mauve tone. I don't know, but that's, that's what I kind of get from it. And then the next one is called Melissa. This is what it looks like. It's like a, it's like a gray tone nude color and I really like that because when it comes to like lipsticks and glosses, I like more like muted stuff, so I really like that gloss. And then the next one is called Vanessa, and this one's like a true nude color, and it's really pretty. So those are the even glosses that I got. And then I did mention that I got the Ruby Kisses Liquid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Um, the first one is called Dune, and this is what it looks like. It's just a like I said, it's like a muted, um, it's like a muted gray tone shade, and it's really pretty. And I got Honey Bunny. It kind of, they both kind of look alike, but Honey Bunny is a little bit lighter. So that will be it for my beauty supply store haul. Those are the things that I got from the supply store. The next things that I'm going to move on to is Walmart. And before I move into my Walmart haul, let me quickly mention that some of these products that I have seen it like use or mentioned in some of my videos because you know I've, like I said I've picked up some things in December and some things in January so I just wanted to like you know how to get pile together everything and do the collective haul so the first two things that I got from Walmart was the Real Technique sponges I got these I got three but one of them is dirty so those are the first two things I got and then I also got these um, e.l.f. concealer brushes and I got these to cut out my crease and they've been working perfectly fine and they're like what only like a dollar so it was a good find and the next thing I got was this Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Capsule Matte Lipstick this is what it looks like it's just really pretty it's like a grey tone muted shade and the shade is called New Patootie the next thing I got was this black radiant blush and it's um, in the shade Toasted Almond. I got some of the Wet n Wild um, highlighters. These two y'all seen in my videos. Um, I do not know the shade of the shades for these two because I ripped off the little thing that holds the um, the package together but I don't I don't remember the name. And then the newest one that I got which was probably like a week or two weeks ago. This is the newest one that it came out with. It's like a yellow gold shade. It's really pretty. It's called Golden Flower Crown. So that's what that one looks like. And the last product that I got from Walmart, which was back in like, I think January, is the Maybelline Master Comb Highlighter in the color Molten Gold. It's been raved about all over YouTube. So I had to pick it up, even though I'm like extremely late, I had to get it. So that concludes and wraps up my Walmart products. And I'm gonna move this to Sephora. I only got two things for Sephora because I don't really I shop at Sephora, but I only shop at Sephora for certain things. And let's be clear, I'm a college student, so I don't got coins like that. I like to stay on the budget. You can look good and still be on the budget. 
So <laughs> these are the two things that I got from Sephora. These are the original beauty blenders. Um, I already have four of them. I just wanted to get some more because I only had four and I just got tired of like always washing them. And you know, you know, so yeah, I have to get these two. Uh, this is like a new color, it's a teal one, and the new one been out for a while, but I always said I wanted to get it, so I went ahead and got it, so that will be it for um, Sephora. And the last, um, well, before I get into my online stuff, I did make a massive, did I did a massive haul at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx has like a lot of awesome products and it's a good place to go to if you want to find like discount and high end stuff. I did not know this until I watched Makaya Choi's video on her TJ Maxx haul and she just had me like, you know, she had me spending some money but I had to go because I'm always looking for stuff at a discounted price because that's what I get. So the first thing that I got or the first thing that I picked up was this Elf Baked Highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. I got the Elf Blush Quad in the color Dark, and this is what it looks like. Then I got two of the Elf Lip Exfoliators. During the winter months, I like to exfoliate my lips because I don't like to lip my lips to be crusty, so I always keep lip exfoliators handy and on me. So these are the two that I got. This one is Brown Sugar, and this is what this one looks like. It's just brown. And then I got another one in the shade Mint Maniac, and this is what this one looks like. It's just a light green shade. So the other things that I've got, I got these two Real Technique um, eye sponges, and I got these because I wanted to like you know use it for like smaller areas or like even to like run out the concealer on my primer on my lid. I also got this clean mat from TJ Maxx. I wanted a bigger one versus the, the two small ones that I had. So I got this. I saw it and it just, you know, I had to get it. So this is what this one looks like. Um, TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, Coles, they all have like big cleaning mats like this. So and if you're looking for something like bigger to clean your brushes with and you don't want to like wear out your hands, get a cleaning mat. So the next couple of things that I got from TJ Maxx was high end. The first thing that I picked up was the Too Faced Lip Insurance Primer. And it's, it says like it's like a plumper, it's like a lip primer and that it like it helps to keep like the your the lip color on your lip. So I got this. And yes, I had to get some Anastasia stuff because they do sell the Anastasia Beverly Hill products in TJ Maxx for like discounted price. And when I say discounted, it is discounted, it's discounted. It's more than 50% off. So the first thing that I got was the waterproof eye cream color in the color honey. That's what this one looked like. And I got this for $4.99. These are usually like anywhere between $20 to $22. So yes, that was this one was definitely still. I got this for $4.99, which pretty much is $5, but it's still at a good price. And then the most thing I'm excited about are these liquid lip stains y'all these liquid lipstick i've you know i always wanted to try them but i never wanted to pay like 20 dollars for these because they and they never they never go on sale so you now i have to get these um these are usually i think 20 or 21 dollars and i got them at tj maxx for seven i'm gonna go go through like a run through the shades that i got um i got these are the two same colors and i got these two are naked I had to get two because I like my nude lips, so I had to get two. The next shade I got was Vamp, and this is what Vamp looks like. Next thing one, the next one I got was Catnip. Um, the next shade is Craft, and then the next one I got was Karina. The next one is Seraphine. This one is so beautiful. It's like a blue red shade. It's so beautiful. And then the last one I got is the infamous Ashton. So yes, that will conclude my TJ Maxx store, well, TJ Maxx haul. So we're gonna move on to the online products that I got. Ok, 
Okay, so the first thing, or the first product that I had to get was the Ambrosia Eye FX Primer. Um, B. Marie, if y'all don't know who B. Marie is, she's another YouTuber here on YouTube, and I freaking love her. She is hands down my favorite YouTuber, and you know, her makeup is always popping, so I had to get some stuff that she be using because, honey, look, her makeup be just popping, so I, you know, I want to be popping too, so I picked up some of these things that she be using because, you know, I've always wanted to try some of these things that she be using, so this was the first thing that I picked up. It's the Ambrosia Cosmetics Eye FX Eyeshadow Primer, and this is just a regular white base. It's good to use when you want to use colors and you want your colors to be bold, bright, and vibrant. The next thing that I got, well, the next place that I went to was Morphe. Um, at first, um, I didn't want this palette, but I started seeing so many reviews on it. And I just got drawn, I got sucked in as usual when it comes to Morphe and I just had to get it in the palette I'm talking about is the Morphe 39A palette. It looks like this. It's a cardboard palette and then it just flips up like this. These are the colors in the palette. It's so pretty and it do have come with a sheet for the names and I just take the names up here so I can reference the colors. And the next thing that I got was just a little um, a eye brush set because I've been on the hunt for like more eye brushes. So I got the set 702 and I'm going to go through the brushes that comes in my kit. It comes with all of these brushes in it. It comes with three blending brushes, a crease brush, a small bullet blending eyeshadow brush that will be perfect for the outer V, a flat definer brush, this liner brush, two eyeshadow brushes, a flat synthetic eyeshadow brush, a double ended eyebrow brush, it has a spoolie at this end and an angled um, brush at this end. And lastly, it has um, it came with this highlighter brush as well. It's well, it's a big fluffy, um, it's a big fluffy eye brush, but because it's too big for my eye, I'm just gonna be using it as a highlighter brush. And I did pick up four other brushes. Um, the first brush that I got was the G24 from the Gunmetal line, and it looks like this. It's a dome fluffy eyeshadow brush. Well, and, well not eyeshadow blending, and then. I got two of the M124. They're two flat um, synthetic, well, they're not synthetic um, eyeshadow brushes. And then I got this um, small eyeshadow brush as well. And it's the M421. And that will be it for my Morphe haul. The next place I had to stop was Maya Makeup. Maya Makeup is very talked about on YouTube and on Instagram and you know I've just been really wanting to try some of their pigments because I've heard so many good things about this company so I had to you know I had to give me some stuff. So the first thing I got was the neon pigment stack and this is what it looks like. This is have all of these bright vibrant colors. And then I also got a set. Now with the sets they have I think they have they have four different sets, and all the sets come with a set of ten. So when you get one set for you buy one for, um, buy one of ten, you get another ten for free. So that's what I did. And these are the pigments that came. I don't remember the ones that I got in the set because they're all mixed in. But yeah, those are the ones that I got. Let me know in the comment section if y'all want to see a review on anything, and I will be gladly to give y'all review on any of these parts that I got. And the last thing I'm gonna move into, I got these glitters from Super Glitters because I've been hearing like awesome reviews on them. And guys, guess how much are they? Guess how much they are? They are a dollar. A dollar or a dollar twenty-five depending on the size you get. So I had to pick me up a couple of these glitters because I've been really liking glitter. So these are the glitters that I got. 
I would go through the shades, but it will make the video extra long. So like I like I did mention, if you guys want to see a review and the shades that I got from Super Glitters, just comment down in the description box and I will give you guys a review and maybe a swatch, um, a swatch of the glitters as well. So this will conclude and wrap up my collective makeup haul video. I hope you guys liked the video. Do not forget to thumbs up the video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one.